Okay, so hello and welcome to Felicia Day, the creator, writer and star of the award-winning web series, The Guild. Hi Felicia. Hello. Uh, thanks for doing this interview today. No, it's a privilege. Oh. Well, congratulations to you and all the Guild for the groundbreaking <laughs> new sponsorship deal that you've just been announced this week. Can you tell me how that came about? Well, um, we were trying to find funding for the show because season one was sponsored by donors, which was fantastic, um, but we wanted to be able to release episodes once a week because around week, you know, two and a half or three, I would start getting comments like, where's the episode? And people were, you know, and it made me feel guilty, but also people, you know, would forget to come back and watch the show because it was such a lag because that's all we could afford to do, really, because we were only shooting on complete cost. So we decided after season one to try to go and find a sponsor, which is much easier said than done because, um, you know, web video is very new and uh, people aren't really uh, used to investing in web video or, um, or sponsoring, especially an independent production uh, that's already existing. You know, I think if you came up with a concept and wanted to sell it, you might be able to find, but still, even then, it's very tough. You know, it's a new medium. So uh, we, we actually were lucky because we won so many awards that we were approached by a lot of people, but most of the ones who were very impressive names, like I was – I was kind of on the fence, you know, because it was there were some great people who wanted to work with us. But one of the things that I wanted to do and was further reinforced by Joss because he really innovated as far as the Doctor Horrible release. Um, he, you know, owning the show and retaining all the intellectual property rights and also creative freedom. So um, I, uh, I, I kind of stuck to my guns there, and sometimes it was very nerve-wracking, and I thought, oh, is this the right thing to do for the show? Because I want to pay people, because they're showing up and working so hard uh, for, you know, for free. So, but anyway, so we started shooting, because I didn't want to wait any longer to get episodes out, and uh, in the middle of it, um, Xbox Live came up to us and said, hey, I want to work with you. And, um, and it turned out to be you know, a really good fit because they accommodated a lot of the things that we want. And then they brought so many things in addition to the show as far as distribution um, and everything like that, that, I, you know, it was really the best thing for the show. I really know that. No, I think it's fantastic. I mean, you're, you're breaking new ground with this deal. Do you think that Thank you're paving you. the way for other independent uh, web producers? Yeah, I hope so. I mean, that was kind of my goal. Um, you know, at the end of the day, I think that um, going around the traditional gatekeepers, uh, to make something that is passionate and that you love about and, and, and really having people uh, having things do they really want to say about, about you know, stories and characters that you don't normally see, this is going to be the way to do it because it's just too hard to get anything made anymore. It's a very high stakes business. So anything I can do to help other people, you know, have their stories come to life uh, is I'm proud of. Yeah, I, I mean, I think it is going to make a big difference to people, and I think that you are you are showing that that you can stick to your guns and still get a good deal and hold on to your intellectual property. Thank you, thank you. Then. <laughs> so, season two of the Guild was released on early th Tuesday morning. Um, and yes, it yesterday. Was on, yeah. Uh, it, so it's on MSN Video, um, Xbox Live, and Zoom. So, what's been the reaction so far? Um. You know, I think a lot of people were uh, about the deal itself. They were there were pe some people who were like, "Whoa!" But you know, concerned about it. But you know, one of the things was that we wanted to be able to release it in HD, but we also wanted it made sure it it would be free, that for everyone to be able to watch for the first window. So um, when people actually got to see the episodes, there, you know, they really are impressed with the the production value because we. We had a lot more crew members, and we had an eight, you know fancy cameras that were donated to us by a production company called Bunch Cassidy. Um, so, and then we have a gaffer. You know, we have like amazing crew who a lot of them were just volunteers who loved the show and wanted to come work on it. And it looks, you know, I think it looks just a lot nicer um, the, production value wise. The the, the ep uh, episode one looks fantastic. It really does. Uh, the, it, there's a big difference between that and the, and the production for season one. Thank so, you I mean, very season much. Season one was great, but there is a there yeah, is yeah. a difference. Season one is great. Look how great that is. Look, there's <laughs> oh, look a DVD it. there, <laughs> hey, which you can buy. Funny. You can buy in the shops, everybody. That is really, you know, you can go to Jinx.com and it's um, it's still available. And season two will be available on DVD, I assume, at the end. Oh yes, because we have HD and we have like we have uh, a behind the scenes um, sh uh, videographer, uh, a volunteer, Kenny, and he has probably shot as much footage as we shot in the actual show. 
which is really funny. Uh, the director, Sean, uh, told Kenny he should do his own cut of the show because he literally has that much footage. So we have so many good extras that are going to be on the DVD, um, you know, hopefully in the summer after we do another release of the show um, after this one. So it's been a really good, you know, the, uh, the, I'm a little discombobulated. I didn't comb my hair that well because uh, Sean Becker, the director for the whole season, the season, who's just amazing, he's really brought everything up a notch. Um, he's been living at my house for four days, and we've been editing because we have so many videos due at the fir- on the first. We're not used to shooting so fast, so it's like, oh, the ring's under my eyes. <laughs> so where are you in the production? We are, um, he is, actually, I was late for this call because we were, I, we were doing, um, you know, he was doing uh, episode seven. We're trying to lock that before, so he can go to Thanksgiving, and um, and I can well, maybe have. otherwise. Yes. <laughs> Wait, what? Won't you let him go to Thanksgiving if he doesn't finish it? No, no, I'm like, you are strapped to this chair. No, he's been in this house. I don't think he's actually slept. We've been, there's a thing of jelly beans by, by the editing thing, and we've gone through one whole can of jelly beans. <laughs> it's kind of bad, actually. There's some really bad flavors in there. Um, anyway, so we're, we're doing that, and then by, so by the first, um, you know, the first seven will be delivered, and then we're shooting a five-day block next weekend to get the whole script done, because shooting on the weekends like this is very tough on everybody, and tough on my house. I mean, it's been chaos in my house. I've, had, I've been living in a set. This is Clara. This is my office, but this is also Clara's room, so literally, there, I just would keep set things everywhere and not be able to work. <laughs> That's excellent.